All right. It is time for episode three. We got our little spirally hat action going on. Can I make? Okay. Incendio. What a way to start the episode. I need to concentrate. Hello. That was hard. It is a book after all. It's a book. How to win friends and influence people. <laughs> JK, JK. But what if though? Like that was the book that they were hiding. Whoa, what? Stick your face in, bro. You know you gotta. <laughs> he just mold. Oh my god, it's so loud. Hogs meat. So, how does anyone struggle when wizards can just do stuff like that? I don't get it. Or is that just ancient magic, dude, that could do all that? I don't know, it seemed like they all could do like the fans fancy. You wanted to see me? Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand Rookwood? that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, 
Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient mm. magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. She didn't even, like, get the response. She just, like, walks away. She's like, ha, 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 ha. That was the face she had, by the way. <laughs> and then there's me. Sebastian. <laughs> Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Is his uncle the headmaster? Oh, he didn't rat me out. What a good guy. Where do I go? Uh. How did I get in here? Oh. Money. Repairer. Oops. Oops. Akio. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is that grand hall place with the freaking regurgitating goblins. Just gotta go back up. Uh -huh. And then, so this mid flight area, right above the main area, this is the way to the classrooms. Mm -hmm. Recognize this. And then you run across the bridge. And then you're back in this building. Yep. So, classrooms are over there. What you guys all acting funky for? Just go upstairs a little bit. I recognize this hallway. Go to the left and you go to the right. Yeah. We. Okay, looks like all we did was change it to daytime. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood. I mean, he's not serious. He's fake. Serious he is, is the headmaster. Orthodox, to say the least. An orthodox. It's inconceivable. It's ah, fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Yeah, get, get the hell out of here, man. Sir. I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Whoa! 
Odd. That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. I look so First, ridiculous. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I took the book? Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. That may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam hamlet was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Maybe I'm reincarnated. I'll take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Ooh. Oh, the guy in the carriage ride. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Sure, Plenty to sure, keep me sure. occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. Ugh. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as I well. I will never talk to that girl. We have uncollected rewards. What? Is it this one? No. Oh. Top of the class scar. Oh, I got a cape. That's pretty cool. I'll put a cape on. But where's the cape? How do I wear a cape? Oh, is it under here? Yeah. Well, how do I put it on? I don't understand. Somebody please help me. There's nowhere for me to do this. Like... How do I wear the collection stuffs? I want it. I want to wear it. I want to look cool. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. <sighs> I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might Jack be best Harlow? to do so outside of the castle. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to play this game and have to interact with you at all. Professor Fig and Weasley have Can asked I that I move? teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lower Hogsfield, a oh, hamlet. So, it was... That place that they saved was the place. I'm not going there. Uh, as you explore, you will move, probably move more, 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 more,
can have this dungeon in. Bandit camps. I'm gonna go there. Dungeon to bandit camps. That sounds like I can fight things. The girl from Wagadoo. So, from Fig's classroom, I believe I go this way. And I have to go down the stairs. And then from here, I go across. Yeah. And then I go across or down. I go down. No, I don't go down up this way nope I go this way yeah here's the bridge then I go right through this door across the other bridge oh what the heck What is this? Anyway, I run across here, across this bridge, and I'm back at the one place, the battle place. What up? Yes, I am. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Why did it fight back? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. So this time it's three, one, two. Accio, Incendio, Levioso. But Levioso doesn't do any damage, does it? Keep trying. Oh, my bad. Well, Levioso, Accio, Incendio. Nicely done. Accio. Accio. Do that. Oh, dang. My bad. So, three, one. Okay. Wait, I'm trying to like. Accio. Three, boom. Incendio. One, one, two, three. Well, Accio. I. I. How am I supposed to do it all if. Look, do I have to like redo the timing or something? So I gotta do these combos way slower. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Yes, you would. It was just a dummy. It was only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging <laughs> you again. Sure. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Okay. Well. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed wands ready? Big match today. Final round. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Yeah. Ready for a shot at glory? Mm-hmm. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Nope. Actually, I'm considering Sebastian. He's a cool guy. I like him. I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. Well, let's do it. We can make this a real victory. That 
the spirit? I hate her face. <laughs> Why does she look like that? Alright. Who am I gonna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break the red shield with damage spells like fire. So now I got yellow, blue, and red. We're gonna go with whoever the yellow one is. This guy. Ow! Incendio. Eh. Ah. Ow. Gosh dang. Ah. I'm trying to press my own buttons. <laughs> I'm getting smacked. Oh, dang, bro. I'm like, oh, I just spam healed on accident. Oh. Uh. I'm just using like everybody else's. Hey, I was trying to put that up. Oh, I have no more healing. Look, look, look. I, I can't. I can't block two hits in a row. Oh, they made a crap's breakfast out of you that round. Care to try again? Well, I don't have any more healing. Yes, I'm potions. ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Oh. Incendio. Oops. Can Fringo. Ah, wait. Protego, stupid 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 oh stupid stupid Protego, stupid stupid So many of them. Can you? I'm trying to like press one or Q. Can you? I need to like take my entire hand off to like press G because it's so far away from everything else. All of these guys are like a lot higher level than me as well. Ow. Okay. Why is my... Oh. I accidentally pressed caps lock at some point. There we go. But you stopped that. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Stupid 
There we go. That was stupid hard. Every time I like move my fingers up to like do a combo, I get hit. And then I would like, or like the thing to the fin would show up and I'd try to like move my finger back down. And then I just wouldn't have the time. Like, I, uh, I feel like I have to switch the controller, but I, I want to get better. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. This is like best you in the school really hard. Then perhaps to... you should consider transferring to Dern Strang. Now to the victor goes the prize. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. What is it? It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned a tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Either way, I. Hey. You. You wanted to meet me. You're right here. Where are you going? Hey, you, yeah, you, I'm not meeting you anywhere. You, you, you wanted to meet with me. You're here now. Let, whatever. But yeah, this having to move like, so I use my ring finger for the A and then I use like my middle finger for W and S to like move back and forth. So needing to move my ring finger up to one and then to like also be at Q. I don't have the finger dexterity for this. Okay. Let's look at our other quests. Let's go to herbology, wherever that is. So I will need to follow the map for this one because I have not been to the herbology class yet. Okay, so from here, come down the stairs, come out here, and we go back across the bridge to the classroom side of things. And then once we're here, Across this bridge. Okay. So we leave the other class sections and we have to go back down towards the main pukey fountain area. Oh, herbology classes. Where the hell am I? What door is this? Was this not the door to go outside last time? Where the hell? It's like a, wow, this is cool. I like this. Blue plane. Is she growing Punja's onion again? Punjas onion. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful. This is to Professor Garlic. Again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. I don't like Lenore. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <laughs> we do look forward to growing together. Uh huh. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. I want that 
manage plant looking thing. Today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh, it's gonna scream. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Damn. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Uh huh. Repero. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Was that the whole class? Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. Mm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. All we did was pull it out of a pot and put it in a new pot. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, I Professor. Have them. I picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Shut up. Fancy. All right. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from yeah. Professor Sharp's class. Okay. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. These are the things that we're going to blah, 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 blah. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in the Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. I now, need those. What say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora the Chinese chomping cabbage. Sounds You'll cool. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Ooh. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. I like this, Professor. So who's... Who's the person Hello. I'm meeting? Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Uh -huh. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a ch Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Okay. How do I do that? Hold tab and tap. Look 
Look at oh. that. Now chomp them anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming. They left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Yeah. My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. Booba tubers. Kind of plants that have your back in a fight. What's a booba tuber? I'm not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. What is it? What is it eating? Is it chomping on my leg? I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls and hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Sure. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Ah. So you can either walk across or you can walk out the front door. Do, 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 do. Do these respawn? Am I just like harvesting random stuff that like can't grow back? I'm just like stealing from the classroom. Yeah. And was that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves? I shall end our lesson here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Thank you, Professor, but looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. I, in well, real I life, suppose that's everything. have a terrible so green thumb. Sometime. I still like, enjoy checking in with my new students. The only plant I've managed to keep alive for longer than like its sprouting phase is a cactus and even that died because i mean a, a bird ate it but regardless it didn't live long it only lasted about like six months all right now to get out of here we just come back this way now we're back at the main hall. Oh, this door is the one that goes outside, isn't it? Okay. So now I gotta go back to the classrooms. Do 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 do. Kind of a long run. Wait a second. Not this way. I need to be going this way. Uh, I forgot whose classroom I'm going to. I just run in a circle. I did, didn't I? Whoops. Incendio. Wow. Where am I going? I'm lost again. I wish this map would like show me like a real map 
Like, this, this doesn't really tell me anything. Oh, we gotta go to potions class. I haven't been there. No wonder I'm lost. Well, how do I get there? You gonna tell me? So for potions class, I go down this stairwell. Oh. Revelio. Do 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 do. I pass that rhinoceros-looking thing straight out the door. Okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I don't care. But something tells me that means it's nearby. There it is. Akio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. And then so I run across the yard. Enter to here. Oh, this is the main area. I was over here earlier. Are you still? You are irritating. You're still going on about all of that. Anyway, Rebellio. I need to Revelio this thing. Okay, so potions class is right next to Central Hall. And then the green room is this side? Okay, yeah. So green room is this side. Potions class is directly across. That's good to know shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school hey get your own seat dude she's already there <laughs> i got a dollar i got a dollar what was that? Boy knocked over a stack of books. Let's get this class started. Oh, who is this hobbit? Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular it's my friend. potion might it's come my in astronomy handy? friend. Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Alright, how we do this? I see a mortar and pestle. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Or clump juice. Okay. 
That was easy. It just like auto crafts. Like you don't have to like. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Look like a man, look like a man. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Is it not like and the most basic And from what I hear of your one? recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. What's that? Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Oh. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Sure. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Steal it, Come and see it. me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Oh, we'll see. Professor, what should I be doing again? You should have collected the ingredients from my office and been brewing a potion at your cauldron. I didn't mean to talk Finish to you again. Finish potion and then return to me. Yeah, and I know. Wasn't. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a god. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his Darren? office. Wheeze. Why do you want yes, to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. Don't care. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. You're not getting it. I simply need a single fooper feather. Fooper. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I'm not helping you. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I can't I do know it. I have to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. Shove off. I'll sort something else out. Actually. Can you remind me what you needed again? I was hoping you could get me a fooper feather from Sharp's office. It's the last ingredient I need to complete my potion. I might as well just grab it. Keep I feel potion bad. Memorandum. Our horror office. Organ and birds. Organ and birds have been cruised by another to be set up in your shop with another in your wheel and another residence. There's going to be a door to the entrance. No one knows what's happening. We're at it. So if anyone is watching you talking about it, send them a message. Oh, what are you up to, Professor? Eggs. Brown. All mess card. Sure. What else? Is that it? I don't like these spine candles. They're very off-putting. Well-prepared witcher wizard always Here. has a few potions on hand. Gareth. Hello again. Here's the food for feather you wanted. Knew you'd come around. Brilliant. I just Thank wanted you. to steal. So yeah. To take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Are you gonna give it to me? Eh? Yeah. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Oh, I don't. I don't get the bruises one. I just have to wait. And well. now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh, no! 
dragon done? What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm and surprised definitely you had the didn't time. take a feather. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Oh. I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Mm. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. So I gotta come back here. Basically. I think each of us has had enough hey man. excitement for one day. You got Master's me in dismissed. trouble. I still haven't forgiven you. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration. Lebanon. Now what do I do? <sighs> I don't want to do this. Alright, <laughs> let's go do this. Successful Urge defending Hogsmeade against trolls. Oh, you know, well, there is I such can't. a thing as trying too hard. What? Come back here and say that again, a hole. <laughs> Why, we can well potions utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from James. Incendio. Mm hmm. <sighs> Looks like I have to go and talk to this creature. Uh, One victory over Sallow. He never backs down from a fight. Nothing better than Imagine solving a riddle. Shut up. I don't know. I thought I saw something. I guess I didn't. <laughs> This is outside. Yeah. I wonder if it's even trying to. Dum, 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 dum. This is going to be a long journey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Owls. Fun fact about owls, it is my namesake. A, a pueo is a Hawaiian barn owl, and that is part of my middle name. And 
I was named that reason because as my mom was pregnant with me and she would drive around at night, owls would fly by the car pretty often. And so she decided that owls should be some kind of part of my name. Oh, oh! I can't kill him. That's kind of lame. This looks intriguing. What? What does? All right. What do you want? It is good to see you, my friend. You're not my Hello, friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. Oh, but you didn't help. Right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I'm not telling you. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. Why? To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll. <laughs> yeah. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. Because you're what useless. Sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Okay. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. Uh -uh. I was thinking that we could investigate no. a bit. Try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. No. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. I you want nothing to do with you. you. I am here if you need me. I Thank don't. You, Be on your guard. You dragged me all the way out I here. Your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. They must have come this way. Think. Oh. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I did not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so. <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Supervise. You missed. Nobody will miss. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. <laughs> it's Willy Wonka. The collection section of your guys been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn about the section of weaknesses to certain spells. 
You know, considering she's wearing red, I would assume she's weak to the fire spells. Oh, she died before I could even throw anything. You're easier to spot than an erumpent. It's so much easier to just like roll dodge than it is to block. Like my pinky can just stay down over control. Okay. We won, didn't we? You're right. I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Eh. Care to tell me? I'm known to be Ashwinders good with a wong. to dispatch me to get to you. Ashwinders. Victor Rockwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get Ooh. moving on my research before they return. Mm -hmm. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Aww. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Your researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. But they give quests. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Yeah, sounds like they can give me treasure. I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? The stuff I stole? Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Mm -hmm. I mean, I already this have trunk. some. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Oh, uh, okay. I have the Mallow Sweet. Sounds good. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Oh, this? <laughs> I just like to rip. Ah. What? Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these piles. Incendio. The flames make the pyre sink. It didn't take a genius to figure that one out. It's a little gazebo. How beautiful. 
What a day. I can hardly believe it. Hey, where'd he go? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my matter? notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Sure, sure. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, ah. which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. Oh, okay. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Cool, 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 cool. And cool. do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoy. Wow! Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun. Oh, give me the food! Give me the food! It was a lot of fun making this episode. Greetings. Oh. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Before I was so rudely interrupted, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and that you will join me again for the next one. Alright. See you there.